soft up smash. It's a good read too. Fortunately, Meta Knight's attacks not being hurt box is uh kept him safe from that one. Edge cancel? No. He's going for it though, it's smart. Dead. Good nair. Yeah. Avoiding the turn up just by standing there. And calling out the uh Defensive drift gave Bladewise a. Uh, ended up Bladewise having really, really poor DI on that. He's still going to four Teddy. Oh, hit him out of a float too. Yep, gets a read, but it sends her high. Gets another up B. Oh, no, no, no. Alright. That's big damage. A feature, feature, <laughs> feature. <laughs> Ooh, the Meta Knight feature. Ah, perish. Jump the gun on his side B. Definitely gonna make that back. I don't think jumping during tech chases against Peach is the play when you don't have a stomp. Probably uh, we'll want to stay more grounded in the future. And if you if you meet the down tilt, it shouldn't be. I don't think you can ASD it down it at that percent anymore. Definitely not now. But the reward for um, jumping successfully tech chasing using an aerial with Meta Knight is so much less than that of most other characters, honestly. Oh, good ledge grab. Teddy the air dodge master outplayed. That down air was really good. It was able, he was able to uh, keep Rim uh, Basically, it, it intercepted Peach before she could get to the ground and <laughs> crouch whatever the hell Joe intended. Uh, whatever he thought Joe intended to do. Back air? Oh, but it's the wrong way. Good, uh, good attempt at the cape, too. Like, that was a big reward. He didn't um, go far enough forward, but it was a really conservative, safe one because um, nothing Teddy did from ledge to punish that, especially now past 100. Good air to air with that air, too. Wow. Excellent game for you. Hey, Talento. Oh, good job, V. Top eight. You get to play best of five with the big boys. What are you rolling your eye? The weight? Dog, it's real. Stupid melee players. Uh, no float? Oh, wait, what? Did he touch the ground before that cake? What the fuck? You are correct, sir. No, one more down tilt would have poked that float, too. Don't be afraid to spam it, Joe. Oh, no, that's not back here. Why would I comment on the shield drop fair? Standard fair? That is normal, per se? Grab center stage is, is lethal though. Watch out. Gotta watch out. Headwise, gotta not let him. Oh, yep. Makes it back center and loses center again. And. Oh! Makes a ballsy play. For, just gently short hops over him. I love it. Mm. Didn't expect to land so quickly, it looks like. Oh, that soccer eye combo. Flame. <laughs> and good, good trade, flawless. Up smash, scoop. Beats, uh, beats ASDI down at zero. 
which is a usual crutch. It's really common when you play characters like uh, with um, good uh, CC options to just undershoot on purpose with a move that looks dumb as shit because 90% of the things that people try to punish with are going to be uh, uh, <coughs> defeated by ASDI down. But, um, you know, grab's not one of those things. That's important. Oh, no. Ah, I forgot what the move that I was just going to talk about was it. Oh, up B? Down to up B? Ah, not enough. What was it? Oh, yeah, up smash. Thank you. At zero is not able to, uh, you can't ASI down that, so if you do the, this undershoot fate um, against Meta Knight, you have to be really careful that he's not able to do so. Now granted, also grab beats the same undershoot, and it's what most players should go for when they recognize you're at low percent, but Joe made some huge call outs that game. Good, good stuff, good stuff. He's in it to win it. Back to this game. I never watched first stock. That's for uh, amateurs per se. <laughs> um, oh, okay. The one that scuffle interaction against Peach down to or about down is pretty rare. Um, ACI down. Yeah, I guess it, instead of clanking or oh wait, it's Meta Knight. You can't clank. God, good read too with that. Because that that was a risky roll too. Because if Teddy went on stage and just did down smash, and destroyed him. But um, yeah, Meta Knight's down tilt can't clank with things, or like his sword can't at all, ever. So uh, he traded with Peach down smash. Both of them got their ASDI down broken at their respective percents. Though, though Teddy's was at about 60. So it's a little different. Better with a zero, a whole Peach. Air out of shield. Uh, Teddy might Teddy might come down and down smash next time. Ooh. Ah. Up throw. No cape though. Two high percent. Oh, yeah, I lied. There's the cape. <laughs> I'm sorry I lied to you, V. Are you on the edge of your seat? I know. What's going on? Damn it. Tekken's cool. Good CC down tilt. Wow, 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 wow. Well timed. So, some characters don't like don't have the option to do that kind of thing against uh, float aerials, but that one was high enough that it worked. Uh, it was also a, looked to be a late bear. Misses mm. the read. Oh, great! Turning winner float in air. So strong. No point in click tech chase today. Yep, Nair trade, send him off stage. Ooh, the mix up. All right, both players resetting. Now Meta Knight's gotta find a way back to, back to center. Um, he actually Joe played a, uh, ooh, after him. Okay. Ooh, oh, good mash. Bad trade though. Um, Meta Knight, Joe played a uh, peak player named Jostin and uh, F&B actually went to a super tight game five. Really, really awesome to watch. <coughs> Yep, and he's using his knowledge by calling out um, really common. Uh, a lot of the same recovery mix-ups that Jocelyn would do because they're just good peach mix-ups. He's, uh, he's winning a lot of these. He's getting, getting a lot of these reads, basically. Oh, no, you can't roll center with the when the peach is being non-committal. That was so dangerous. He could have eaten a down smash that clocked in at 50. <laughs> would have uh, pegged him real good. 
unfortunately makes it back. Ah, uh, loses, loses the mix up there. That oh, smash was really risky. Yep, gets his drift, his drift called out, but not a hard call out. No, run up upside again. Doesn't get it called out this time. And dies to a trade again. That th those seem to be happening a lot in matches. A lot of trades. Battlefield game five. Let's let's get it. Let's get it. Show. Good joke. To start. Oh, what the peach grease? Is that that new melee peach tech? ASCI onto the platform and then down smash them. Broken. Oh, drops a ledge dash. Take a deep breath. Take a deep. No, don't get back back into it. Good juggle. It misses the call out. It doesn't drop through the platform. I think like he meant to. God. Side B is not an effective bucket break tool. Just use the rest of your jumps. Let the momentum peter out. And then use your long range recovery mix ups, I think. Mm. Joe's getting real jumpy and Teddy's getting real stuffy. Up throw cape. Yep, that's one. The platform assist was nice. So we're still in it. You want to hold this percent. Because um, once you start to be at, be at a percent where stray hits cause you to lose center, it becomes a lot harder to. Like people talk about CC percent, but the more important thing about it. Uh, CC percent is usually important too, but is that when you lose neutral that it has to be in a way that is mean that is difficult to get in order to cause you to lose center instead of something random like floating air see like teddy's at a percent where that neutral air cost him nothing to get hit by because it actually sent him to the center oh careful careful now that's the eye on that forward air was phenomenal by the way wow oh smacked out of the fourth dimension Joe's just running into moves now. He thinks that Teddy now respects it. Teddy no longer respects him in neutral. And so Teddy's using a lot more moves. Joe's trying to go for deeper mix-ups that just absolutely lose outright to whatever Te whatever the hell Teddy's doing. Just just as a hit. He touches the ground, gets, gets his jump back. Good job making it to the ledge. Great descending up air as well. No point click tech chase again. Wonder if that's like ambiguous visually. Dead. 